Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll give a quick demonstration of deploying an Apex application using Liquibase. The Liquibase default JDBC connector is fine for running simple SQL files, but it struggles with more complex files, especially those including SQL Plus specific settings and commands. This makes trying to deploy an Oracle Apex application export file difficult unless you plan on doing a lot of editing of the file. Liquibase 3.10 has a new feature that allows you to offload some of the work to an executor like SQL Plus. This means you can process regular SQL files as normal, but if you hit a tricky situation, such as an Apex export file, you can use SQL Plus to do the heavy lifting. All you need to do is add the run with attribute to the relevant change set tag. In this release, this is a Liquibase Pro feature. If you're new to Liquibase, you might want to check out the links in the description box for some beginner notes. There's also a video where I describe most of the scripts and change logs used in this demo. That uses the SQLCL implementation of Liquibase, but the descriptions of the scripts and change logs, as well as how to manage changes, are the same, so it saves me repeating them here. We're going to deploy an Apex application called Demo App. The application is in the demo app f101.sql file. This is a typical Apex export file for an application. It contains a bunch of SQL Plus specific commands, as well as anonymous blocks calling Apex APIs. The rest of the files are simple object creation scripts. The Apex application references some of these objects. We're going to use a properties file to hold database connection details. We can reference this when running Liquibase commands, which makes things a little neater. Notice we've included a license key. The run with feature is only available in the pro version of Liquibase, so we need a license key. Liquibase applies changes using a master change log, which itself can reference other change logs. This could have been one big change log, but we'll split things up. The first change log relates to the tab one table and related objects. We have three change sets, each with a single SQL file tag that references one of the SQL scripts. They need to be applied in order because of object dependencies, so we'll include them in the correct order. The tab one sequence script, the tab one table script, the get tab one count function. The change log for tab two follows a similar format, this time only referencing two files the tab two sequence script and the tab two table script. The previous change logs use the default JDBC connector to apply their change sets. The change log for the Apex application is a little different. Notice the change set includes the run with attribute, telling Liquibase to let SQL Plus run the script. This means we can deploy scripts for Apex applications without having to edit them. Now let's look at the master change log. This references the tab 1, tab 2, and Apex application change logs. We check our Apex workspace and we can see there are no applications. We need to make sure the path environment variable includes the Liquibase software. We also need to set the Java home environment variable. We do a quick test of SQL Plus to make sure it's working as expected. Now we run the Liquibase update command to apply the master change log. We reference the properties file to provide the database connection and license details. We reference the master change log for this schema. And of course we use the update command. We can see the demo app has been installed in our workspace. So the addition of the run with attribute has made it much easier to create deployment pipelines for Apex applications using Liquibase. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.